cash us the following quadratics. 15, 10, 7, X, and 7. Calculate the value of X. What should we do from here? Sure, this is good. All right, so we have 15, we have 10, we have 7, we have X, and then we also have 7. Okay, what is the first thing that they should do from here? Uh, they can't hear you. They will call like I was. Sorry, 10 minus 15. So we say 10 minus 15. I think guys, it's wise for you to write it because I see most of you are making mistakes here. So you should say 10 minus open bracket 15, like this. Okay? And then after that, what is the next one? So the next one, I agree, this one is 10 number two minus 10 number one. And then the next one, you're going to have seven minus open bracket 10, like this. Okay? okay what is the next one that we're going to have? So we're going to have X minus open bracket seven. Okay? Seven. And then the last one that we're going to have, it says which we're going to have seven open bracket minus X. Okay. okay. Now let's simplify this thing here. We're going to simplify it from now. This one, because there are no variables, you can type it in your calculator. Hot. You will type this thing in your calculator and then you're going to have 10 minus open bracket minus 15, like this. Okay. No, no, no. It's 15. It's minus open bracket 15 close bracket. Okay. And then you get an answer. What is the answer? Okay, we can put which our answer here is going to be minus five. And then these two, there's also no variable. You'll put them in your calculator. If there's no variable, you can put them in your calculator. If you say seven minus 10, it gives you what? Minus three. Okay, let's, let's use this color here. So this one is for the red color. And then for the green, these two, there's a variable. There's a variable and a numerical value. Okay? So these two are not like terms. So what are you going to have here? I'm going to say negative multiplied by positive. Okay? And then what are you going to be remaining with here? This is going to be X minus seven. And then last but not least, this one here, it's negative multiplied by positive. Okay? What are you going to get for this one? Seven minus X. So you need to tell them, but what is this by the way? This one is the first difference. We can't equate this ones because this is the first difference. Now, what are they doing next? Minus three. So we say we say minus three minus minus five. Okay. So we're going to have minus three open bracket minus minus five. Like this, okay. Maybe let's continue with the same color so that you remember what this one is blue. Okay. So this one subtract this one. We say which we are going to have minus three minus open bracket minus five. And then for this one, we say this one subtract this one, okay. So what are we going to have for that one? We have X minus seven, okay? Minus open bracket minus three, like this. Yeah? And then we have this one, subtract this one. If we subtract this one, what are we going to get? We're going to get seven minus X, okay? Minus open bracket, X minus seven. Okay, let's work with like terms then. What are we going to have as our like terms here? If you type this, guys, if you're not sure, type this in your calculator, man. Again, what are you going to have here? You have minus three, yeah? Minus three, minus open bracket, minus five, close bracket. Ne? And then what you get as you answer here? You get two. And then this one here, you can say negative and a positive, negative and a negative. What you get for a negative and a negative? So I'm going to have X minus seven plus three, like this. Okay? And then with this one here, you're going to have seven minus X. This one and this one, it gives us minus X. Okay? This one and this one, it gives us what? Plus seven. Okay, then from here onwards, we can clearly see which, okay, this one here, it's still two, it's fine, okay? But this one, they are like times here. What are we going to have for this one? It's X minus four, ne? and then this one here, it's equal to what, two? To two. Now, this is the second difference. Since this is the second difference, I can equate this one and this one. If I don't want to equate this one and this one, I can equate it with this one. Let's come and check. This one and this one, it gives us 14, okay? And then this one and this one, it gives us what? Minus two X. So I, I can choose any two combinations. It doesn't matter, I I can say this one is equal to this one. I can say this one is equal to this one. Or I can say this one is equal to this one. So let's choose the simplest of the two. The simplest of the two, it says this one is equal to this one, okay? So I'm going to say two is going to be equal to X minus four. Take four to this other side, which is negative, okay? If you take it to this other side, what are you going to have? 
It says you have six. Okay? Therefore, x squared should be equal to our two to six. Okay, let's go back to our pattern. And then everywhere we see x, what are we going to put now? Six. I'm going to put six, okay? And then from here onwards, we can then get the general formula. The nice thing about this thing is this. I could get the general term even if I couldn't get x. I could get the general term even if I couldn't get x because I already have the second different. What is the second different? It's two, okay? And then I already have the first term of the first different. So even, and then I already have the first term of the pattern. So how am I going to do this then? I'm going to tell them, okay, 2a is going to be equal to 2, okay? Meaning a is going to be equal to what, 2? 1, okay. And then what do we do from there? It's 3a plus b is going to be equal to first term of the first difference. The first term of the first difference is minus 5, okay? So it's going to be minus five. And then we know what is A, what is A? So it's three multiplied by one plus B. Take this one to this other side. What are you going to have? B is going to be equal to what two? Minus eight. Okay, let's get C. What are we going to get as C? A plus B plus C is going to be equal to? It's going to be equal to? 15. And then if we do this one, we know what is A, what is A? Minus eight yeah? plus C, which is going to be equal to our two. 15. And then this one gives us minus seven. Okay? Take minus seven to the other side. It says C is going to be equal to our two. 22. Therefore, what is going to be our TN? N squared. N squared minus eight N plus 22. And then we get our four marks for that one. Okay, okay they say calculate the value of 58 term. Okay? What does this mean? Everywhere we see n, we're going to put what 58 again. T58 is going to be equal to 58 all squared. Minus 8, 58 plus 22. What do you get as our answer? It's 2,922, like this. And then we get our one, two marks. Okay, let's give Chai a round of applause.